If you're an Amazon seller with one product or 100 products, you definitely need to be having product alerts set up so that you know in like as soon as possible time that something has happened with one of your ASINs, whether it's a new review, whether it's something detrimental that could potentially hurt your rankings or anything in between. That's what we're gonna be covering in this video, a lot of different kinds of product alerts that you can set up with seller tools. Troy, why don't you go ahead and show us like what are some of these alerts that they can set up? Yeah, absolutely, Ian. There's a few things you definitely wanna keep in mind that uh, actively protect your product, your brand on Amazon, whether it is keeping an eye on uh, hijackers being present on your listing, whether that's adult product, kind of a uh, now well-known malicious activity that's hard to track, but with an alert, you can know immediately if you see any changes. And then things like dimensions, product dimensions, which translate into change to your Amazon fees, which can compound over time, meaning hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, if you're not actively monitoring that. And what's better, let the tool do it for you. Yeah, definitely. So that's what we're gonna be covering in this video. If that is of interest to you, then stick around, click that thumbs up button, and let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, let me just start things off by introducing to, to me who I am. My name is Ian Smith, and I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media. So if anything in here looks interesting to you and you want uh, to ask more questions, you can either obviously reach out to Seller Tools Support, or you can book a free consulting call with me by heading to evolvemedia.agency. Troy, uh, tell them who you are. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. So my name is Troy Johnson. I'm a co-founder at Seller.Tools. I've been selling on Amazon since 2014. Uh, I have been, built, scaled, and sold brands, consulted for eight, nine-figure brands, uh, still actively running brands to this day, uh, and enjoying things at Seller Tools and empowering sellers with more advanced tools, strategies, features to gain a competitive advantage. Awesome. So, Troy, let's go ahead and just jump into it, starting with the beginning of how do they initially, you know, get their products into, you know, the product manager and, you know, just the starting steps that they need to take. Yes, absolutely. So first things first, what we're going to want to do when you get your Seller.Tools account set up, of course, you will sync your MWS so that Seller Tools can see what products you're actively managing within Seller Central. And so those are going to be available here in your product manager. Now, of course, when you're protecting your ASINs, you're focused on your products, but you can add any product here, uh, Ian, uh, if you want to actively manage or uh, keep tabs on, let's say, a competitor. It's as simple as adding a product and adding their ASIN. Okay, gotcha. And so but once our, once the products are in here in the products manager, then what is the next step to actually setting up that alert? Yeah, we've got a few different ways that we can configure alerts. We've got actions right here in Product Manager that's gonna include alerts. And then we have the uh, dedicated navigation here for alerts. And if we go to uh, alerts itself, you have an alerts dashboard. This is really your hub for man monitoring any activity that you have configured through your alerts. So if we wanted to take a quick snapshot, obviously you can see the products listed here. You can see uh, active or a number of alerts that we've configured for each ASIN. Any issues? Uh, this is again where you can see what you've set up and what's been triggered. We can easily expand and collapse that view just to kind of get a snapshot of what's available. Uh, but we want to make sure, of course, you know how to um, initially set up your alerts for success. So I'm going to go ahead and now that we've expanded, I'm going to collapse that. Yeah, that, that, um, that's a cool little feature right there, the expand collapse. And real quick, just to um, just to touch on the alerts, if you're curious how you're going to actually get this alert. So there are a couple different ways. The, the main two that you'll probably be using is either email or a Facebook Messenger alert, whichever one is you know quickest for you so that you can immediately jump into your Seller Central and fix and navigate whatever the alert was. Yep, exactly, exactly. And that's where too, with the alerts, in seller tools, you can acknowledge issues. It's really meant to kind of, uh, for lack of a better phrase, kind of, kind of give you an itch to scratch. If you set up an alert, you, the seller tools and the tool wants to know, are you aware? Have you acknowledged it? Or is it still an open item, something that you need to address? All of a sudden, if you've got a, an ASIN that's down or you've lost a buy box or a hijacker's present, you know, the tool really wants to make sure that you've taken action so you're not losing money in your business. And that's really the importance of, of alerts and protecting uh, your brand. Yeah, definitely. So let's run through the, the quick setup. And the quick setup allows us to then set up whether we want to create account alerts. Now this focuses on the seller tools account and setting up alerts like for the wallet. Um, 
And then we have product alerts, which identifies your ASINs, again, that have been synced through your MWS that you've manually added to the product manager. But let's say we have a, a title or, a, or an ASIN of a product we want to configure an alert for. So I'm going to do this for my hyaluronic acid serum that is already in my Seller Tools product manager. I'm going to go ahead and select it. It's going to add it into my selected products. Once I click next, it's then going to let me add alerts. And I've got two options here. I can create a new alert or use a template. This is a really powerful feature. As uh, Ian alluded to before, if you've got hundreds of ASINs, alerts are a powerful feature, but it's really hard to go from zero to 100. Templates really sort of solve the biggest part of that equation because when we configure a set of alerts, we can save it as a template and then apply it across ASINs. It really makes alerts very scalable, very easy uh, to, uh, to set up. So let's go ahead and click New Alert and our list of options here that we can select from. So we have performance type alerts, rank indexation that we can set up for an ASIN for a particular keyword. We can set up a BSR, um, whether we're in between or have met a certain BSR threshold. And if we're starting to think about account protection, these next few are really important. Hijacker on your listing, a buy box, if you've lost the buy box, for some reason your price has changed. Has a review block been placed on your listing? You're paying to capture reviews um, through external channels. I mean, even buyer seller messaging, but unbeknownst to you, your ASIN can't receive reviews. Again, the ASIN that I've already selected. Uh, is adult product, um, this is a prime example. Ian, this is really hard to find if somebody has maliciously attributed uh, your product or, or, or applied an adult tag, not easy to find and it's a big revenue crusher. So it's kind of a, a recipe for losing a lot of money. It's a good alert to have configured um, and letting Cello Tools kind of safeguard uh, in case that, that is triggered. So let, let's go ahead and start with that. So is adult product, we'll say is set. So that says the ASIN I've picked, adult product is set. I wanna be notified. So we'll click next step. What it's gonna ask me then next is how I wanna be notified if that rule or that trigger is set. And I've got a few different options, and this is the same across any number of alerts. I can be notified in-app in, in Seller.Tools, can be notified via email, I can be notified via Facebook Messenger, probably our most popular. We're all on Facebook, our members of our team, VAs, we're all on Facebook way too much. This is where it actually helps us, right? We get notified right away. Yeah. And then lastly, the Seller Tools API. This gets to be a little bit more advanced, but this helps where if you're sending data to a Google Sheet or an external resource, um, if, if the sound uh, of, the, of the, the acronym API is music to your ears, uh, this is definitely what you're gonna wanna utilize with alerts because you can push uh, any of the, the data, any of the indicators wherever you'd like. And again, you can think about keyword rank and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's say we'll pick our most popular, Facebook Messenger. It's gonna have us pick our eligible accounts. Again, we integrate this in Seller.Tools. So we've got a Seller.Tools demo account. We can send a test and receive that via Facebook Messenger. Always a good idea when you set it up. And then you can save uh, save this individual alert as a template. But maybe I have a few in mind. I can confirm that. It's gonna add it to my list. And that alert is set. Once, of course, we click save. But let's maybe add at least, at least one more on this, Ian. Yeah, let me ask you real quick. So what would you say, like, you know, and you can scroll up and down on that, right? You can, mm -hmm. in that little box with that, okay. Yeah, so there are definitely a lot of alert options. And so, Troy, what would you say is like top three or top five most common alerts that people are doing or that you would recommend? Yeah, absolutely. So for account protection, I would be thinking about Hijacker, Buy Box, Reviewable's important. Again, that's a Solo Tools exclusive for review blocks. Adult is great, Dimensions is great, and then ASIN not found. Those you can really think as some of your uh, foundational um, alerts. ASIN night found is literally dogs. You know, when you see dogs on Amazon and your listing is mm. down, that is uh, nuclear. That's a worst case scenario where you want to make sure your team is moving quickly. And this is where, again, something like Facebook Messenger, how can you immediately notify people in the channels? Um, and this is where, again, even though we offer email, I see Messenger being such a step above. You know, I actively yeah. don't, ch I batch my email. So if I wait, if I'm waiting four hours, mm. that's four hours of missed revenue, right? Yeah. Versus, that's a good point. you know, what I'm seeing there is out of stock. That is something mm -hmm. that, my clients have a lot of uh, 
issues with, especially lately because Amazon is going through their whole inventory issue thing again. So, so tell me about that out of stock. That just alerts you, sends a quick ping if your inventory is completely out or can you modify that so that maybe if it's super low. That, so this is fixed. And what I would say in Seller Central, you can set thresholds. So this can really supplement that. That's why it doesn't necessarily make my, my short list, but you can definitely add it on there. It's, it's a, still a good CYA of, of adding it uh, as sort of a worst case, that's a last little safety net where if somebody's not actively managing your Seller Central, I mean, whether you're just getting started, you've got new people managing this activity, there's absolutely nothing wrong with making sure that that's in place to where um, you're notified right away. That's again, yeah. the beauty of the tools is you want, you want things informing you, not you stumbling upon them being react, you know, reactive in that way. Can you scroll down a little bit? What's that coupon code, the one right below it? Coupon code on listing. Does that mean like, um, it's going to be expiring soon or what does that mean? That's if you have any coupon. So if you set up coupons and within uh, promotions on Amazon, it will let you know if a coupon code is on a listing. And this is really too where um, mm. if you add in competitor ASINs, let's gotcha. say you want to actively track, oh, all of a sudden they've got a coupon code, you may want to respond in with that. So this is where you know we think about protection, and then we think about maintenance, then we think about performance. This is where uh, on the performance side of things, if you see a top competitor running a coupon code, you may want to uh, alter some of your strategy. But the first step is being informed, right, of, of knowing that that's the case. Yeah, I mean, this is, that's definitely a lot of options here with alerts. So I highly recommend, you know, play around with these and um, and see which ones, just like what Troy was saying. So you have protection and then you have performance. Um, so, so definitely see, you know, create yourself a template, create like maybe 10 alerts or whatever on one product, save that as a template. And, and I'm sure Troy will talk about that here soon, but, um, but then you know, apply that template to your different ASINs. Yep, exactly, exactly. So let's, let me pick one other of my kind of core, let's see, again, buy box if we have other protections in place. Let's say dimensions. Dimensions is really important because it's often overlooked and it can translate into uh, fees that add up. So let's say dimensions have changed on the ASIN, again, that we've selected. Click next step. I'm gonna do the same thing for notification. I really like my uh, messenger option to my eligible account of the Seller Tools demo. Can again send a test if I'd like, but I'll confirm it for now. And now that those are good, I can then create a template. And again, you can take the time, make sure you carefully add um, whichever uh, alerts make the most sense for uh, you and your ASINs. So sample template, we'll call it. Confirm that for our two alerts. Again, it can add many more. And it's gonna be available now in our templates to use. That sample template will bring in what we've configured for this ASIN. Yeah, that is a huge time saver right there. That is awesome. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. So you can kind of sort of think, what's, you know, what's your 80-20? What are your absolute essentials? Get those set to where if you don't use alerts to its fullest potential, you're at least at the protection level. And again, there's maintenance, there's performance, there's other ways of kind of elevating and, and utilizing some of the other features, but the protection is the essential. That, that just means you're not losing revenue. It's not focused on how do you gain revenue necessarily. That's yeah. you know, where, where you can take things to the next level. Yeah, so definitely don't rely on Amazon Seller Central emails like I do. <laughs> you know, I, I really didn't know about these, these really handy alerts and I was just relying on emails from Seller Central to tell me if something went wrong or something changed. So definitely set up alerts. They will come in handy, especially when you have a lot of different ASINs. It's crazy how sometimes little glitches happen. But Troy, before we wrap up, do you have anything uh, that you wanna just end on? Yeah, no, I would say get these set up, get your account protected. We all know Amazon volatility. It's, it's one of those things, Ian, where we know it, but we often don't do too much to act on it. And this is this sort of lets you point at something and say, hey, at least I've got the protection in place. I'm informed. I'm going to be notified. I'm going to be pinged via messenger. Um, take full advantage of, again, that the ease of being uh, contacted. Let the tools do the work for you. But then your account's protected. You're, like I said, you're safeguarding your business, your revenue through a few simple steps. 
Definitely. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you want to book a free consulting call with me, head over to evolvemedia.agency and we can talk about seller tools. We can talk about Facebook ads, messenger bots, all that kind of stuff. And just keep in mind with seller tools, you can get a free 14 day trial. So if you're not yet a user, Try them out for 14 days, play around with these alerts, add some of your ASINs to there, add your competitor ASINs, and for 14 days you got some free alerts that you can that you can play around with. So thank you for watching this video again. Click that thumbs up button and we'll catch you in the next one.